In this tutorial, we're going to install AppMap into our sample Ruby on Rails project inside of VS Code. You can find a link to this sample project below if you want to follow along. We'll enable AppMap when we run our test suite and generate the app maps, and we'll touch on the outputs. This tutorial assumes you're using an ideal project for AppMap. You can review the previous video for more details about what are the best types of projects for AppMap. So this is a sample project, Ruby on Rails. It's a Twitter clone. And you can see here, I've got this cloned locally, and I've got the ability to run my test with a bundle exec Rails test. This is how AppMap will analyze the runtime of the code. From here, I'm going to navigate to AppMap by clicking on the button in the left-hand bar, and I'm going to click on Install AppMap Agent. The Project Picker will help you confirm, again, that you're running a suitable project before you install. We'll copy the AppMap installer and run it within our terminal window. The installer will look for project files, like a gem file or a package.json, and it will ask you where you want to add this project towards. It will then ask me to confirm my details. In this scenario, it's going to find yarn configuration files as well as a gem file. Because this is a Ruby on Rails project, we'll select bundler option, and then we'll confirm our details here. Once the app map page is installed correctly, we'll continue on to the next step, recording app maps. We'll copy the record command, and the record command will ask us what we want to use for our test command. It will make an assumption based on your test scenario. If your command you run test with is different, you can change this command by pressing no here, enter in a new command, and include any environment vari variables you need. You will need AppMap true if you do want to have AppMap analyze your tests, and we do recommend disabling Spring as well. Confirm that this is the test command you want to run, and how long you want to be able to run these test cases for. My tests finished pretty quickly. I'm going to take the default 30 second runtime. You'll see by running this, we've generated 68 app maps in our project, and we can continue on to the next step. We now have app maps that have been generated. We'll surface some of the app maps in the next step here, maybe ones that have a large number of requests, or in this scenario, ones that have large numbers of SQL queries. You can click on any one of these to open the app map directly inside of your VS code. You'll be able to see which test executed and generated this app map, as well as being able to see server requests, packages, classes, functions, and SQL queries related to this. We'll continue on the onboarding process and be able to view any findings that the analysis function has picked out. When we click on view problems, we'll see actually a series of N plus one SQL queries. And these could lead to performance issues for your users. By clicking on any of these findings, it'll navigate us into the code base where this issue is occurring. You can also see code objects have been indexed, which is another helpful way if you want to be able to find which app maps include which specific SQL queries or specific API requests. From here, you can see the changes that we've made into our project to support app maps, include an appmap.yaml file. This will include the command that we're going to execute as part of our test run, as well as which paths within our project we're going to analyze. And you can also see the gem file. We include app map as a development dependency. I can commit now all of these files, which will make this available to all of my other developers on this project. Finally, you'll see app maps actually exist inside your temp directory in the app map folder. We don't recommend committing these to your project. They can grow your Git repositories unnecessarily. If you'd like to learn more about how to share app maps with your team, reach out to us at appmap.io slash slack for a preview of app maps team offerings. At this point, you should have AppMap installed in your project, and by running your test locally with the AppMap flag enabled, be able to generate app maps. In the next video, we'll show you how to record app maps for parts of your code that are missing tests, or when you want to learn more about how a specific function works.